All right, hello and welcome to ICLV's New Year's online exclusive. We got a lot of great things planned for you today. We have some worship and we have a message by Pastor Paul Goulet for the new year. I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions or any comments or you just want to talk, we have some online pastors waiting there for you in the chat room. Hope you have fun. Bless you. Shouted from the rooftops that it rains Gonna dance like I'm crazy in this place Gonna tell everybody what the Lord has done in me Yeah, Gonna lift my voice and sing God's glory down Spin around, jump up and down and shout out loud Gonna tell everybody what the Lord has done in me Let's make it! I'm gonna make His praises glorious I'm gonna make His praise so glorious I'm gonna make His praises glorious today God, He reigns God, He reigns forever God, He reigns He reigns His banner over me His banner over me And it said love and victory Yeah! Oh! You're worthy, 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 Jesus We praise your name Oh! All over the world Come on, I'm gonna shout it I'm gonna shout it from the rooftops that ain't rains Gonna dance like I'm crazy in this place Gonna tell everybody what the Lord has done in me oh, oh. I'm gonna lift my voice and sing God's glory down Spin around, jump up and down to Shout out loud Gonna tell everybody what the Lord has done in me I'm gonna make His praise is glorious I'm gonna make His praise so glorious I'm gonna make His praise is glorious Today I'm gonna make His praise I'm gonna make His praise is glorious I'm gonna make His praise so glorious I'm gonna make His praise is glorious Today God He reigns God He reigns forever God, He reigns, He reigns His banner over me, yeah. God, He reigns forever, God, He reigns, He reigns His banner over me, and it said love and victory, yeah. It's said love and victory, yeah. Oh, it's said love and victory, yeah. See it in your eyes, a pain I can't describe. And you wonder when the light is gonna shine. Cause you feel like giving in. You want a touch from heaven. But there's something standing in the way of freedom. Speak life into your separation, your trials and tribulation. 
Open up your mouth and let the healer take over when you're feeling unstable. Jesus is able. Open up your mouth and let the healer take over. I see it in your smile. It's been upside down a while And there's only in your dreams that you can fly God has bigger plans Let Him open up your vision And through the eyes of faith proclaim your freedom All you gotta do is speak loud Separation, trials and tribulation. Open up your mouth and let the healer take over. When you're feeling unstable, Jesus is able. Open up your mouth and let the healer speak light into your separation. Trials and tribulations Open up your mouth And let the healer take over When you're feeling unstable Jesus is able Open up your mouth And let the healer take over this next year over your family over your workplace no matter what last year looked like we have hoped that this year oh joy comes in the morning we got a whole lot of mornings full of joy this year starting with today so wherever you're at just remember this one thing Power of the spoken word. Speak it out and change your word. Deliverance is found when you speak life. Speak Trials and tribulation Open up your mouth And let the healer take over When you're feeling unstable Jesus is able Open up your mouth oh, Speak life To your separation Trials and tribulation Open up your mouth and let the healer take over When you're feeling unstable, Jesus is able Open up your mouth and let the healer take over I like that song, let the healer take over Speak life, no matter what you're facing you can speak life. Peter said to the man at the gate, silver and gold have I none, but what I have I give you. Stand up and walk. Paul said in Romans 1.11, I long to impart a spiritual blessing into your life so that we might be mutually edifying. Something about the New Testament Christians, they believed they could speak it out and things would happen. Be healed. Be moved into the sea. Jesus taught them that they could agree on one thing. They could speak out in the name of Jesus and people would be healed. This song is so true because we can begin to declare what's going to happen in 2010. I declare healing and wholeness for my family. 
I declare my family is going to be reconciled. I declare that 2010, I'm going to be drug free and alcohol free. I decree that this year will be the, my greatest year of blessings, financially, emotionally, spiritually. See, really that's what prayer is all about, is declaring by faith what you want to see happen in the future. See, if you don't have faith, you just don't pray it, do you? So let's take a moment right now and you can let all the, ba- the past stuff be the past and you can release it by simply saying, Lord, I forgive them in Jesus' name. I release the past to you right now. I forgive those who offended me. I forgive those who have hurt me. And right now, I'm asking that you're going to just take that pain from my body and my spirit, my emotions. We let it go right now in Jesus' name. And after you do that, you kick into the next thing. You begin to declare great things for the future. That's why the Bible says they even bless those who persecute you. Blessings with the mouth. We begin to release blessings instead of curses. We begin to not take revenge, but declare a change in destiny. So let's do that right now. Lord Jesus, we believe that right now we forgive all those that have hurt us, let us down. We release the past to you, Lord Jesus. And we pray that you'll bring healing and wholeness to our bodies, our minds, our spirits, and even our relationships. And we declare that today we prepare ourselves for the coming year. And we declare good things, blessings, prosperity, health, wholeness, fruitfulness, abundance, change lives and change relationships, starting today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Thanks, gang. I'm just going to hang this team, hang out with me for a little while, and we're going to take a look at the Word. But before we do that, you may be watching tonight, and you're wondering, man, I haven't had a chance to give this year, or I'm behind in my giving, or I'd like to give. Well, you can give right now. In Galatians chapter 6, last night it was so weird, I went to bed early because I wanted to be fresh for Sunday. And I woke up at like 12.15, which means I'd only been sleeping for a couple of hours. But I saw this amazing thought came to my mind. Number one, about 2010. And number two, about giving. And the scripture that he reminded me of is in Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. It says that God cannot be mocked. Whatsoever you sow, that will you reap. Hmm. Interesting scripture right in the middle of the night. I thought about that and I was dwelling on it. It says, and let us not grow weary while doing good, for in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. Therefore, as we have the opportunity, let us do good to all, especially to those who are of the household of faith. So here we are, the two last days of New Year's, of I should say two last days of 2009, and we're looking to a new year. Do you know that your giving tonight can actually begin to orchestrate your harvest of 2010? Sowing seeds will bring a harvest. Our responsibility is not to make the seed grow. Our responsibility is just to give. And so can you take a moment right now and just determine in your heart what you were supposed to give and begin to give with a joyful heart. Begin to give. There's a button right there. It's donation. And you can even designate where you want it to go. If you want to just give it to expand the kingdom, you can do that. If you want to give it to help us with the kids in the slums, you can do that. You can actually let us know where you want that money to go, and we're going to honor that. So thanks so much for giving right now. Just push the button and give with a generous heart and plant your seeds that will become the harvest of 2010. God can't be mocked. Whatsoever you sow, you will reap. So let's sow right now. Lord Jesus, thank you for the awesome people that are giving right now, whether they're catching up or whether they're simply sowing a seed for a harvest of 2010. I pray blessings on them. I pray that you're going to take the giving and multiply it in a great way. And I pray this in Jesus' awesome name. Amen. Thanks, gang. Thanks for giving. I really appreciate that. I'm going to have the gang just hang out with me and for a couple of minutes, and I want to just share from the Word. The Bible talks about the keys that God wants to give in Matthew chapter 16. He talks about, I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Do you know what he's referring to? He's referring to Peter's confession that he was the Christ, the Son of the living God. And when you look at that scripture, it's so cool because because Peter had a revelation from the Holy Spirit, from the Spirit of the Father, the, the, the Bible says that Jesus said, I'm going to give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. 
And then he goes on to say, whatever you bind on earth, interesting keys for binding and locks and, and, and well, we understand the concept, right? You've had keys of lockers and stuff. So whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth will be loose in heaven. So in other words, the keys that he was speaking of were keys of authority. And last night when I woke up at 1215, the first thing he spoke to me was 2010 was the year of the keys. The year of the keys. Man, it made me think. And first of all, I wanted to fall back asleep. But it made me think about this year that was coming up. And then as I started thinking about it, I started thinking about scriptures that talked about keys. And I think of the scripture in Revelation chapter 3, 7, where it talks about the key of David. I think about the scripture in Revelation 1, 18, that talks about the keys of death and the grave. So friends, when you look at 2010, I'm going to tell you right now, and prophesy that 2010 is the year where God wants you to give you the keys to bind and to loose. When you leave your home, you can lock that door, can't you? And make sure that door is locked. When you come back, you can loose that lock and open the door. I, when I was a kid, I drove my bicycle almost everywhere. And uh, gang, I used to just you know drive it and then lock my bike. And one time I didn't lock my bike and um, someone swiped my bike. I was so ticked. I went and found all my buddies and uh, we, we all went, we all, we all gathered together and went to, to, to Devil's Hill. Now, Devil's Hill led to a very, very tough neighborhood, but we had to, kind of like the suspicion that my bike was probably there. So we got, uh, I jumped on one of my other friends, because back then we had these banana seats where you could have two to a bike. And, and we drove our bike to Devil's Hill. And uh, Devil's Hill was like, woo, like that. And uh, we got there, and guess what? We, fa- we found this kid with my bike. I'm not even sure if, I don't even think it was the same day. Maybe it was a couple days later, a couple weeks later. And we see the guy with my bike, but now I have, a, I have a gang with me. And so we caught the guy, and we told him, hey, that's my bike. And he said he bought it, but and he, we know that he'd stolen it. But lo- long story short, I got my bike back. Um, and from then on, guess what? I had a lock, and I had <laughs> keys to the... And then sometimes I had locks, and I'd forget my, my key. And sometimes... I'd buy combination locks and forget my combinations. I don't know what it was, but I was a little bit forgetful as a kid. (laughs) But the point is, is that Jesus told Peter, because of the revelation you have in your life, I'm going to give you the keys of heaven. Now, what does heaven look like? Well, last time I read the Bible, heaven is a place where there's no sickness, there's no disease, there's no sorrow, there's no pain, uh, there's no heart attacks, there's no heartache. Um, In fact, the Bible says, in his presence is pleasures forevermore. So in other words, heaven and the kingdom of heaven is healing, health, wholeness. How about prosperity? Well, the Bible says that the streets are, the streets are made of gold. <laughs> so guess what? Heaven is a place of prosperity. So when Jesus said, Peter, I'm going to give you the keys of heaven, he's saying, I want to give you the keys of prosperity. I want to give you the keys of healing. And maybe that's why when Peter looked at the man at the gate called beautiful, he said, silver and gold have I none, but what I have, I give to you. What did he have? He had keys. Keys to lead people to healing. Keys to lead people to their their ultimate breakthrough, emotionally, spiritually, relationally, and physically. And the neat thing is, is that you can help others experience these things too. The beautiful thing about 2010, and I believe it's one of the keys that God's going to give you, and I've been feeling it for a couple months, and I I was going to call 2010 uh, uh, be a hero. But when I got the word last night, I knew that last night was a rhema word. So it's going to be called 2010, the year of the keys. But one of the themes of that will be, and one of the keys will be, I believe that every one of you is called to be a hero to somebody else. Maybe that means you're going to be a hero to a senior citizen or a hero to, to a group of, of children in a Sunday school class. Or maybe you're going to feed the homeless here in Las Vegas or, or you're going to work at our dream center. Or maybe you're going to just uh, lead people in worship and songs that will set people free like these two songs. I don't know what kind of key God's going to give you, but I believe the keys not only help us, but they help us help others. They help us help people. See, it was about nine years ago where we brought the move of God to India, northern India, and with a young man by the name of Ivan who had a church of about 50 people. But when I looked at Ivan, I saw something much more in him, and I saw his potential and his destiny. And I started uh, mentoring him and pouring our hearts into his heart, and we became very close friends. And it was just about a year and a half, two years ago, where he started feeling like we should do more for the slums. And he already started an orphanage and he already has a school of ministry. He already has a church that grew to 2,500. He's already, I think he has 50 other churches under his leadership. Um, But 
he felt led to do something more for the slum kids. Some of you have seen that movie Slum Dog Millionaire. Well, he decided to go back into the slums and I don't know if you know this, but at one time they were in the slums, but uh, they had a clinic there, but his wife, they burned the, uh, these people burned the clinic down and put his wife in, in jail. So he didn't have good memories from his past, but he still felt led to do it. And now we have 1,600 kids in these slum schools. It started with Jesus unlocking some keys in my life, unlocking some locks in my life, and then helping me help unlock some of the keys in his life, in his neighborhood, in his nation. And now he's changing the world. And I want to just challenge you. He's helping other people unlock the poverty that are in the slums of India. So listen to this. I believe that today, can you get a hold of this message? Maybe you're suicidal. I want to unlock that thing. I want to set you free right now in Jesus' name. I don't come in my authority. I come in his authority. Just like I was set free from suicide, you can be set free. Or maybe you're struggling with addictions or depression. Just like I was set free, you can be set free. I, you know, you, you ask the, the, the friends around this circle here. They've had their own struggles, and they can tell you that Jesus Christ can give us the keys. So this year will be a great year of discovery, 2010. It will be the year where you discover the keys. The keys of the kingdom of heaven that not only will help you experience freedom, but will help you help others. How many others? Only heaven knows. Your destiny could be 10 times bigger than mine, right? I mean, you can write a song that changes the world. You can, you can lead a, a drama that changes the world. You can, you can lead an orphanage or a school. I don't know what your call is. All I know is God spoke to me that 2010 is the year of the keys. So can you set your heart to be a person that says, I'm going to go for the keys, the keys of the kingdom of heaven, because not only do I want my own life to be changed, I want my family's life. I want my marriage. I want my singleness. I want my kids and my nephews and my nieces. I want nations to be changed. Can we just agree on that right now? And then we're going to end with one song. And uh, then my, I think my son might be coming up and telling you about some good things that are coming up. But I'm super excited about the coming year. And I just want to pray for you. And you can actually give your life to Christ tonight or you can come back to him or you could be set free from whatever you're involved in because guess what? Jesus gave me some keys. So if you want, we're all around the world watching. You might be telling your friends about this service. You might be even putting it on your Facebook so they can watch it too. I don't know who you are, but all I know is he's real. Jesus is real and he's given me the keys and I want to share them with you. So if you're out there and you you're have sickness right now and maybe cancer in your body, or maybe there's emotional sickness, depression, and suicide. In Jesus' name, be healed and be set free. I unlock it in Jesus' name. May the power of God touch you right where you are. Or maybe you're there and you just had lost a relationship through divorce or, or maybe someone cheated on you or maybe you lost a loved one through death. We pray for healing right now in the name of Jesus. May his power touch you. May he be released all over you right now. Be healed emotionally, spiritually. May you be delivered. Maybe you've been feeling like Satan just beating on you left and right. Right now, I just rebuke the enemy for you. And I stand with you against the enemy of your life. The one that wants to steal, kill, and destroy. And I speak life to you right now. Life to you right now. So, Father, I thank you for all those that are watching this New Year's special. And we declare for the internet community watching right now, everyone around the world, that 2010 will be the year of keys for you. And then you're going to grab those keys. You're going to not only experience freedom for yourself, but freedom for all those around you. The Bible says, for who the Son has set free is free indeed. So in a moment, I'm going to have my son come up and just thank you for being with us. There may be some other things on his heart, but I want us to sing this song that they're playing right now because I believe that the Spirit of God can touch you. So let's let him do it right now. Let me pray for you. I'm going to wait on God while the team sings this song. Is that cool? Let's do it right now. touch you right where you are.
you know, all you gotta do is just say, Jesus, come into my life. You can pray with me right where you are. Jesus, come into my life. Forgive me for my past. Break the power of the past over my life. Don't let it hinder me anymore. Don't let it cripple me anymore. Take the chains from my neck and my wrists. The things that hold me back, my broken heart, my discouragement, whatever it might be. Lord, I release all of it to you. It's no longer mine. I now receive healing and wholeness. Jesus, come into my life by the power of the Holy Spirit. Set me free, heal me, touch me, and breathe on me. Starting right now, in Jesus' awesome name. If you prayed that prayer, Jesus is coming in by his Holy Spirit. From the top of your head to the bottom of your toes, healing you, touching you, breathing on you. This is the greatest day of your life so far. Just let his Spirit flow into your life right now. Even addictions are falling at your feet. Say, hey Paul, do you believe in freedom from addiction? Yeah, I'm a, I've had like 30 years of freedom. Is that good enough? It works. Say, you believe in the 12 steps? Sure I do. I believe in the one step too. Jesus can set you free right where you are. Your broken heart can be mended and God can give you a brand new destiny, healing, love, power, and joy. We release that on you right now in Jesus' name. We love you. We bless you. We thank you for being with us today. The International Church Online, it's great to be your friend. I'm going to ask my son to come up here, and as he's coming up, I want to encourage you to go online to watch our prophetic conference coming up in January. The dates are all over our ICLV.com. Just check ICLV.com for the dates of our prophetic conference, or come and see it live here in Las Vegas, Nevada. We really love you. Cindy Jacobs, we've wanted her to come for like 10 years. She finally is coming. And Chuck Pierce is really the prophet of the house. He's here every year. And we love him, really respect him and love him. So he'll be here too to share his heart. I love you, gang. Thanks for being with us for this special New Year's Eve message and worship. And don't forget that you can put this on your Facebook starting the day before New Year's. And you can launch it to all your friends and make sure they get a dose of joy and hope and peace. We love you, gang. God bless you. Hey, Sammy, it's great to see you. You got anything that's on your heart? No, I just wanted to say thank you for coming in and uh, tune in with us on Sundays and on Sunday nights and even um, on the prophetic conference, as my father said, and uh, be looking forward to the opening of our online church. It's going to be something huge. You're really going to want to check that out. And we'll be keeping you guys updated and posted with Facebook and, and blogs and all those kinds of things. So I hope you enjoyed it. That was an incredible word. And I hope you have some, some good revelation and insight onto how you're going to approach this new year. So we hope you guys are blessed. And if you guys have any emails, concerns, or questions, you can email us. We have an email button right there. And all the contact information is in our, on our website. So we would love to hear from you. Give us some testimonies, some prayer requests. And we would love to connect with you guys. God bless you. iChat pastor right over there. Yeah, there's an iChat pastor waiting to talk to you guys if you need any help with anything. <laughs> I forgot. Or just want to have a friend. Yeah. So, cool. Thanks for tuning in.